Hi guys, welcome back. This is my project pan introduction video for 2022. So I'm excited to be showing you the products that I'm gonna be working on. So just a bit of information as to what my project pan consists of. So it is a rolling project pan. So once I use up an item, I replace it with another item. It doesn't have to be like for like. So if I use up a foundation, I don't have to replace it with another foundation. And I do generally try to keep products in my project pan until I completely use them up. There have been a couple of instances last year where I took a product out of my project pan, but I do generally try to use them up till completion. I try to keep at around about 10 items in my project pan as well. I feel like that's a nice number for me personally to be working on. It's not too many, it's not too few. And I do try to keep it as all makeup items as well. So I did mention in my project pan finale video, which was one of my vlogmas videos, that I want to slightly change how I'm documenting my progress each time. So how I started it last year when I first started my channel here on YouTube, I took little videos of the progress, but I think what would be better this time is just to take pictures because I feel like that should hopefully be a better way to show progress every month. And then the last few months of last year, I started to tally the number of times that I wore these makeup items as well. And I've started doing that now with Shop My Stash items. And I feel like tallying just really works for me. I have my notepad here of all my items. I keep that and a pencil on my dressing table. Whenever I use an item for the day, I mark against it and it's just a really nice clear way for me to see just exactly how many times I'm using my items. So that's what I'm going to do every month in my update videos. I'm going to provide a picture of the item if the item allows for a visible progress to be shown through pictures. If not, I'll show you a tally as well. So hopefully my update videos per month are going to be slightly better than they were last year. But let's just get straight into the items. Let's introduce all the products that I'm gonna be working on. So first product is a foundation and it's my Estee Lauder Double Wear Light Foundation in the shade Ecru. I really, really like this foundation. It's what I have on today. It is a light coverage, but it's possibly more light to medium. You can build it up as well. So I went in with two light, thin layers of this foundation this morning and then I concealed over the top. So you can build on it. Feels quite hydrating as well. It's not as drying or as matte as the original Double Wear is. So out of the two, I actually prefer this one, even though the coverage isn't as full. It just gives a better effect on the skin and it's a bit more breathable, it's a bit more lightweight. And this I'm including in my project pan because I think it's coming up to the end of its shelf life. It does have a shelf life of 24 months and I can't remember when I bought it. It definitely wasn't last year because I was on my no buy. So I think we are coming close to the two month mark and I need to get this used up. I have a couple of other foundations in my project pan as well that are half open and I think this is half open as well. I do have to give it quite a good shake to get the product down to the bottom to squeeze out and then sometimes when I squeeze the product out it is stuttering a little bit. So I think sometime soon in the next couple of weeks I might have to cut this open and scrape out what's left. So I'm hoping no longer than two months this should be in my project pan. Next item, or items actually, I'm gonna include two concealers. They are both by Fenty and I have two shades because Fenty recommend two different shades of concealer. I think one is for dark circles and hyperpigmentation and the other one is for blemishes and under eyes. So I do have two shades. I have 185, which I use under my eyes as my under eye concealer. It's a little bit more yellow in tone than 150 and 150 is for blemishes and under eyes, although I don't use this on my under eyes actually, I just use it on my blemishes. And the 150 shade of this matches my foundation shade from Fenty. And both of these again are probably out of date or probably very close to coming out of date, so that's why I'm including them in my project pan. They have a shelf life of 12 months, so yeah, they're probably about six months out of date. In terms of how much is left in them, I can see through the tube on 185, but I can't for 150, so I'm guessing because of that I have less of the 185. And also because I use more of it, because it's for my under eyes, I'm gonna, I'm guessing, get through this one a lot quicker than I am 150. But they both have different purposes, they, they both should be applied in different ways, so that's why I'm gonna include both of them and not one of them. But I'm gonna assume that these are gonna be my project pan for the majority of the year. But I panned the Tarte Shake Tech Concealer last year, so I'm kind of used to panning a concealer. So yeah, most of the year for these two, I reckon. 
Next item is one that has rolled over from last year. I unfortunately didn't use it up last year and it's the number seven custom blend highlighting drops. And I still feel like there's a lot of product left in this tube. I, I keep saying it, but I am gonna have to start adding this to body moisturizer to get through it. Because although it looks really pretty and I like it, I do have other highlighters in my collection that I wanna work through. I have some in some Laura Geller eye and face palettes that I wanna use up. I mean, I know I can layer them, but another product that's in my project pan, which I will come to in a bit, I'm using that like a highlighter. So that's why I can't include another powder highlighter in my project pan. So yeah, I'm gonna have to start adding this to body moisturizer, get it used up, because this is also out of date, it's got a 12 month shelf life, and this is a liquid highlighter, so liquids are gonna go off a lot quicker than powders. But I like how it looks, it's very pretty, I have it on today, don't know if you can see, but very pretty, but it just needs to be gone now. Another item that has rolled over is my Soph Revolution lipstick in the shade Fudge. I do not use this as a lipstick anymore. I use this as a sort of cream bronzer blusher. Again, I've got it on today, not too much. As a lipstick shade, it's just a little bit too dark for me. Although I like nudie brown orangey lipsticks, this is just a touch too dark. Which is a shame because these as lipsticks, they're quite creamy so you can reapply them quite a lot throughout the day but it's just not for me, this shade. But works fine as the cream bronzer or blusher. And I don't have much left of this. I'm gonna say two to three months I've probably got left of this lipstick. And there is some visible progress on this. I am sort of seeing month on month progression with this item. So if I'm consistent with it, then hopefully I can get through this fairly quickly. I do have a couple more items that have rolled over from last year. The next one is the NYX eyeshadow base. And again, I still feel like there's a lot of product left in this. I open up the tube and there's a lot of product on the wand. So I have two, three months left for this one. I really don't know. It's difficult to say with this item, but I use this every time I wear makeup. So I am getting through it on a regular basis, but I'm just not seeing that I'm actually getting through it, if you know what I mean. The wand still has a lot of product on it. A lovely product though, great dupe for Urban Decay Primer Potion, but I don't need more than one eyeshadow primer in my collection. And I have the MAC Paint Pot paint pot in painterly huh mac paint pot in painterly that i want to get through as well that is a tongue twister next item another one that's rolled over from last year is my benefit gimme brow in the shade three i think this should take another couple months as well there's still a fair amount of product that comes out on the tiny little wand i can't see my progress on this through the tube like with the nyx eyeshadow base so tallying with these items is especially important. But I really like this eyebrow gel actually. It's really nice to provide a little bit of colour to my eyebrows. My eyebrows are quite thick and full naturally so I don't need too much in terms of colour just to fill in the little gaps. And then it helps to kind of push them up a little bit and set them in place. So I really like it but it's just been opened for a long time so it actually just needs to get used up. Okay next item is a new one and because I'm a sucker for punishment apparently I've decided to pan another MAC eyeshadow. I was panning MAC blank type last year and it took me the entire year. And I swear I've said multiple times recently that I was surprised that it took me so long. So you, you would think that that would actually put me off panning another one, but I do still want to work on reducing my eyeshadow singles this year. They are still slightly higher than I want them to be. And MAC Shroom, this shimmery champagne shade here, just seemed like the best next option. I can use this as a highlight shade under my brow bone or in the inner corners of my eyes. I can also use it as a lid shade. And I have been using it as a highlighter and I've layered it over the number seven one today. Again, not sure if that's really coming through, but it does work as a highlighter, which is good. So hopefully I should be able to get through this fairly quickly. And I am starting off on a nice dip. And I don't think I had this dip with MAC Blank Type this time last year. So hopefully it shouldn't take me the entire year, maybe till autumn. <laughs> But hopefully quicker than that but a very very pretty shade but again like blank type another real dupable shade i have multiple shades like this in other in other palettes so i don't need this one but the quality of mac eyeshadows are really good another item that has rolled over and one that i'm probably going to use up in the next week is this teeny tiny little estee lauder lip liner in the shade nude this is a beautiful colour. It's a real peachy nude and the application is super creamy as well. It looks lovely on its own. It looks lovely with a lipstick over the top or a lip gloss or a little bit of lip balm. 
And because this is the type of pencil that you have to sharpen, you're gonna get some waste and you are gonna get through it quicker than you would do a retractable one. So that has definitely helped with my progress. I was hoping to have used this one up by the end of last year, but it didn't quite happen. But this one should, should, it will be used up by the end of this month. And like with my eyeshadow singles, I just have too many lip liners. So that's also a category I wanna work on reducing this year. And then 10th and final product is my only lip gloss and this is the Vive Lip Dew. This is a glossy lip oil. I really like how it feels, but like I've said numerous times before, I don't like the little glitter particles in it. For me, it really kind of cheapens a lip gloss if there's glitter in it. And I'm really disappointed in that because if the glitter wasn't there, I would for sure purchase this because it's so hydrating, really glossy, but not gloopy or tacky or sticky. But I just, I just can't with the glitter. Now, so far, and I haven't marked the tube because the pen always seems to wipe off, but I, I was about halfway through this tube at the beginning of January and we're now on the 7th, I think. And I've already made some good progress. It's quite a thick texture in the, in the tube. So you are gonna get through a lot of it, but I will take the stopper out at some point and then sort of see from there just how long it might take me but I shouldn't think more than two months. And this is quite a versatile product as well because I can wear it with the lip liner, I can wear it with a lipstick, or I can wear it on its own, and I can wear it on makeup and non-makeup days as well. So two months, I'm gonna say, shouldn't take me longer than that. So those are my 10 items that I'm gonna be working on. So I'm gonna say by next month, by the beginning of Feb, the update, I will be done by the lip liner. If I haven't used this up by that update, then something has gone terribly wrong. And that might be it. If I really put my mind to it, then possibly the highlighting drops. But I think I'm only going to be done by one product by the next update. But there's a couple here in front of me that hopefully the update after that, at the beginning of March, I'm wishing the year away, I should be done with a couple more. But then I also have some ones in here that are going to be with me for much longer, like the concealers and then that eyeshadow pan as well. But I'm excited to be using some new products here as well. So the concealers, the foundation, the lip gloss, but then also finish up those items that I didn't quite manage to use up by the end of last year. So I hope you found that video interesting. If you yourself are doing a project plan this year, please let me know what items you're including. Also, what are the rules of your project plan as well? If you've got a video, please let me know so I can watch it. I will also have coming very soon another project plan video, but not makeup. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Thanks so much for watching guys, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you again soon, bye.